Hey, it's Matt. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Pharmerica website. Note that this is only for viewing orders and medications. If you need to prescribe something, this is done separately at the nursing home. First, go to the website. The URL is www.paperless.pharmerica.com. Enter your login, which is probably a long number, and enter your password. You should come to a screen that looks like this. A few patients will be listed on the table on the screen, and you can click on them. But if you don't see the patient who you want, enter their name on the left side of the screen. A last name alone may be sufficient. If it's a common name, you'll be asked to choose from an available list. Let's select one of my patients. Starting on the right, you can see a picture of the patient, date of birth, location, a list of allergies if applicable, code status, and diet. If we look to the left, we'll see a list of medications, administration instructions, and times of administration. Note that this list by default just shows scheduled medications. If you want to see a full list, click on the drop-down menu at the top. All orders active will give you a more complete list. Now let's take a look at the MAR. Go to the left side of the screen, find the report section, and click on MAR. You can only view the MAR by discrete months. By default, the current month is displayed, but if you'd like to view a previous month, select it from the drop-down menu. When you're ready, click Create Report. This will create a PDF file. The PDF file will probably be pretty long, and parts of it may be too difficult to read by default. Your software should have some buttons that allow you to enlarge the document. First, take a look at the top of the page. There's a legend up here, which you may want to reference later. Next, let's go to the center of the page. You'll see the medication, its dose, route of administration, diagnosis, and times of administration. Running along the top over here is the date of the month. Finally, you'll see the actual administrations. The first set of letters, I believe, refer to the names of the nurses who recorded the information. This is followed by a number. Look up at the legend to see what the number means. In this case, the medication was administered, which is what we want. This medication was eventually stopped, which is indicated by DC. If a medication is reordered or if something is put in incorrectly, you may see several entries for the same medication listed. That's fine. Just remember that this is a record for the entire month, so medications that were changed or discontinued will appear too. The bottom of the page will feature some additional information that you can usually find elsewhere. Of note, sometimes vaccinations are listed here. Code status, allergies, and diet are listed again here. Let's take a look at some additional examples. Here's an example of a medication with holding parameters. This metoprolol has blood pressure and heart rate holding parameters, so the blood pressure and heart rate prior to medication and administration are listed. Here are some examples of blood sugar checks. As you can see, the blood sugars are listed here. Here's an example of a PRN administration. The time of administration is listed. There's also a 10 listed here, which indicates that the staff followed up to verify the effectiveness of the treatment. And there you go. That should be all you need to know. Again, we don't enter orders through this website, so we mostly use it to verify orders, monitor PRN medication use, and check up on vitals and blood sugars. I hope this video was helpful.